Richard Ramirez was a serial killer who terrorized California under the moniker of the Night Stalker. Ramirez's addiction to cocaine and heroin, and participation in Satanism led to the killer committing at least 14 murders and torturing and sexually assaulting at least 25 victims over about 14 months. Satanist admits to being evil. Do you admit to being evil, Richard? We are all evil in some form or another, are we not? His victims ranged in age from 6 to 84 years old. On March 27, 1985, police were already investigating two murders, and one attempted murder that Ramirez committed only a week prior. On that night, in Whittier, California, Ramirez made his way into the home of 64-year-old Vincent Cesara, and his wife, 44-year-old Maxine. Ramirez used a five-gallon bucket and climbed into an open bathroom window. Stalking throughout the house, Ramirez found Vincent sleeping on the couch in the den. He shot Vincent in the temple, killing him. Maxine who was asleep in the couple's bedroom was awakened by the gunshot. According to source, while Ramirez ransacked the home, she grabbed a shotgun that the couple kept under their bed. Unfortunately, the gun was not loaded. When Ramirez found Maxine, he shot her in the head and neck. He then sexually assaulted her, before mutilating her body. Maxine was found with several stab wounds to her head, neck, and above her pubic area. Ramirez cut out her eyes, taking them with him. Investigators believe that he cut her eyes out because she looked at him while he was assaulting her. $4,000 worth of valuables were stolen and their bodies were discovered a few days later by an employee. Police found a avia shoe print at the scene that connected Ramirez to several other crimes. Over the next several months, Ramirez's terror would continue throughout Los Angeles and San Francisco counties, with the Night Stalker frequently breaking into people's homes, killing the husbands and wives, and assaulting women and children. Well, he took a, a woman in her 60s and stomped her to death with his foot, leaving an imprint of a shoe on the side of her face. Uh, from that to just executing somebody upon walking into a room after he entered a house. He strangled, he used a ligature, he used a tire iron on a, on a young girl, a beater left her for dead. Finally, on August 31, 1985, Ramirez was arrested after being subdued by a group of residents after trying to flee from a police stakeout. The residents recognized Ramirez's mugshot from the newspaper and beat him up before surrounding him, preventing his escape. On September 20, 1989, Ramirez was found guilty of 43 counts, including 13 counts of murder, 5 counts of attempted murder, 11 counts of sexual assault, and 14 counts of burglary. All the cases involving children were dropped, as officers believed it was not worth re-traumatizing the young victims with testimony. Ramirez was sentenced to death by gas chamber. Instead of being put to death, he was showered with attention from many women. He married in 1996 and died of cancer on June 7, 2013. It is believed that Ramirez committed several more murders, as in 2009, he was linked to the murder of a young Chinese-American girl in 1984. See you in Disneyland. Stay safe, and thanks for watching.